Hey everyone, welcome back. Ow. <laughs> That's not good. Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, I'm coming on right now because it is Tuesday the 21st and we're doing, I'm doing a collab with um, Jerry Ellen from Cooking with Neighbors. Um, she's hosting it and her cousin Mel, who that's her, her, um, her channel name is Cooking with Cousin Mel. She's also doing it, I think so, so I'm just mentioning her. Just in case, because I want to give her a shout out anyway, go check out Cousin Mel's um, page and Jerry with Cooking from Neighbors. They're awesome. She's awesome. Check them out. All right, guys. So what we're doing today is we're doing recipes with onion soup mix, okay? There are so many things you can do with onion soup mix. You don't even realize it's a gem sitting in your cabinet. You're thinking you just use it for dip, whatever. I'm sure a lot of people know that they can use it for other stuff. But there are some people that really don't know. So we're here to tell you and show you that you literally can put it in so many things. This is a recipe that I came up with a couple of years ago that I was making fried onions, sauteing fried onions, and I'm saying to myself, what, what can I put in it to like enhance it? And I thought, oh, onion soup mix, because I put it in my pot roast. Sometimes I put it in my meatloaf, very rarely, but in burgers and stuff like that, all of that. Um, so it's, it just flavors everything. And you would think it was salty. It's not, guys. It really is not salty at all. It just flavors everything. It's really, really delicious. Give it a try. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so what I got here now. Now, I'm using, this is in the way here. I'm using my electric skillet so I can sit at the table and do this with you for a number of reasons, which you guys all know. Um, so, um, I have five onions I'm going to use. I figured while I'm making them, I'll make a nice batch and we can eat them during the week. Tonight, I think I'm making meatloaf for dinner, so we'll probably maybe put it over that or, you know, you can put it on burgers or whatever. It's, it's good in the refrigerator for about a week, so it'll be fine. We'll definitely eat it. So, I'm going to make five, on, um, I'm going to slice up five onions and I have my onion soup mix here. I got to get my seasonings. I didn't get those yet, but... Yeah, so I'm going to cut up these onions. I'm not even organized. Look at this. This is what I can't stand when I don't organize myself. I need a plate for garbage and all of that. So let me get that. Let me get my water, too, because I'm thirsty, so I can get this started. You don't create with Linda, guys. This is the way it is. But that's okay. To know me is to love me. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, guys. So I got my stuff together. Before we hit the day. Um, all right, so I need, I need butter as well, forgot about that, put this on top of here, so we can see this better. Um, I need butter, I'm going to put the butter over here. I know I have more butter in the refrigerator, refrigerator, but of course I can't find it, but I think I have enough for what I need for now. Um, I have kind of the garbage thing here where I can put all the, the pickle look and stuff. So I'm gonna cut these onions up. And I'm gonna cut them in slivers. Um, pretty thin. You know, I would say medium, not too thick, not too thin. Move this over. We cut all the onions up first. This, a couple of my onions back there are going a little rancid. There was one I went to pick up and it was all soft. That was one that I guess was not seen and hasn't been used, so I got in the garbage. Uh, one thing about onions, sometimes I can buy onions and I go through them like crazy. Sometimes I buy onions and they sit and rot. So I gotta be careful when I buy onions because I don't want to overbuy them. Most of the time I'm pretty, you know, on point, but sometimes it gets away from you. I just hate to have to go for an onion and not have an onion. So like, it's like everything else, you know. You want to have it when you need it, but then you don't always have it when you need it because you don't always think you're going to need it. <laughs> but then you end up needing it. All right, guys. So this is, like I said, a specific video. Tour, um, tour, um, four onion soup mix recipes. So 
like I said, think out of the box. I mean, really, you could put it in anything. You could pour, pour it in, like I said, you can make burgers, put it in chopped meat burgers, ooh, that'd be so good. Meatloaf, I've done it, I've done it in both. I've done it in chopped meat uh, for meatloaf and I've done it in, um, in burgers. My husband loves that. He loves that strong kind of taste. Sometimes, you know, you, if you put a lot in, like when you make the dip, like I like my dip like on the lighter side, medium. I don't like it like loaded with stuff. He likes it the same, actually the same. He doesn't like it, he likes it, you know, um, to taste like it, but not crazy. My son, he likes it like dark. He likes a lot, not, not us. But um, there are some people who like, really like that strong flavor. And uh, Billy in his hamburgers, he likes it. He likes the strong flavor. So um, when I make him a burger with it, which is very rare, we, we really forget about that. We forget about it. Um, it's really, you know, there's a lot of flavor in it. But um, I always put it in my pot roast. Um, I don't know if I put it in my stew. I've never put it in my stew, I don't think. But I put it in like casseroles and stuff. It's just, it's all, you know, it's all um, the flavors in one. You know, it probably does have soda, a lot of sodium in it. I didn't even look. I'm sure it does. But you know what? You know, once in a while you put it in your, in your meals. It's not something you eat every day. And you just have to watch your other salt intake, you know. If you're watching your salt intake, you just obviously have to be aware of it. And my eyes are starting to tear a little bit. My eye, usually I do really good with onions. There are times when I don't ever cry or ever have a tear. And then there are times when I'm like, holy moly moo. So it just depends on, I guess, the onions. I don't know what it is, but my eyes are starting to tear right now. So, okay, so I'm just going to slice these up. This is a fun recipe if you like to slice things. Um, I have a, a slicer, but um, I want these to be sliced and not chopped, so I won't, I won't be able to use. I mean, I do have other stuff that I can slice, but I like, honestly, I, I really do enjoy just chopping. That's the hard part of the onion. I enjoy just chopping up stuff. I really do. Sometimes I'm in the mood, and I'll just chop everything, and then sometimes I'll use my chopper. It just depends on my mood, guys. So I'm making a lot. It looks like a lot, but I'm telling you guys. And you know what's really good in this too? If I had, I thought I bought mushrooms. Ooh, I have canned mushrooms, but I don't want to put canned mushrooms in here. And honestly, my son might eat this. I'm making steak. Um, I'm like I said, I'm making meatloaf, but he doesn't eat meatloaf, so he's gonna have a steak that's in there. So. Um, he'll probably have the onions with it, which is great. So I won't put mushrooms in it because he won't, he, he won't eat mushrooms. He doesn't like mushrooms. And if you even put mushrooms in something, he says, oh, it tastes like mushrooms. So he won't like pick the onions out. You know what I mean? He, he won't eat it. So I need him to eat it because I need to use up what I make, what I make. So no mushrooms in this today, but that's okay. We could always add mushrooms to ours if we wanted to. We really. How you love them. Um, Hubby loves mushrooms. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this pan first because my butter is in there. I just don't know where it is right now. I just want to have some extra in there. Butter is the ticket, though, when you're making these. All right, so I want to hear that sizzle, so I'm going to put it up high because the electric skillet, even though it's on high, you know, high isn't that high. So you want it to be on its highest um, level. That's just my opinion, but who knows? All right, so like I said, guys, please check out Jerry from Cooking with Neighbors and Mel from Cousin Mel. Um, Cousin Mel's cooking, she's really awesome. Jerry has a wonderful channel. She's one of my best friends, and we have just bonded, and we are so close. We do all these videos together. We have so much fun. We chat for hours and hours about what we're going to make, what we're going to do, what are we doing. We just, we really are very close friends and I love her. Ah. Um, so we, well she came up with this one, her and Mel I think came up with this one and then she asked me if I wanted to do it, which was, I was like, oh my God, of course, yes. Love onion soup mix. So, so glad to be doing it with her. But it's just a lot of fun. And go check out her channel. She's got so much, so many, 
She's so funny. And um, she does this thing on her channel where when she tastes her food, at the end, she always tastes her food, I would say 95% of the time. Once in a while, maybe not, but 95% of the time. And she always says, now we're going to have a tasty poo. Tasty poo. I love that. I love that, Jer. Tasty poo. So <laughs> go check her channel out. You'll love her. Um, she's really, really sweet. She does a lot of great, great recipes. I, I have to start doing her recipes. Um, I think I did one of her, a few of her recipes. I got, there's a couple of them that I really want to do, the tuna casserole. She had a, a recipe on there, tuna casserole. I bought all the stuff that's in my cabinets and pantry. Going to make it um, probably next week. I don't know if I'm going to get to it this week, but I'm definitely going to make it. Okay, so this is getting really hot, and that's what I want. I want it to sizzle. But I want to put butter in it as well. I'm going to put a, like a, two tablespoons of butter right now and then start adding the onions. Like I said, I want these onions to get caramelized. I don't want them to burn and get like crispy. But in the beginning on the, on the, um, on, in the electric skillet, you have to have the flame on high in order to get them moving. And then I'll watch it and lower it as they start to cook. But like I said, I, will, I don't want them to burn. I don't want them to be crispy, but I want them to be nice and caramelized. Okay, so I'm gonna put fresh garlic in here, but I'm gonna wait a little while before I put the garlic in. And when I put the garlic in, I'm not gonna cut it that big. I mean, that small. I'm not gonna cut it that small. Of course, I didn't bring a spoon over, so I'm just gonna do this. Let me this out so you guys can see it. So that would be a tragedy if you can see. Just let this mingle a little bit. And like I said, I'm gonna, this is as high as it could go. So I'm going to, I want them um, to sweat almost after a little while and then they're gonna caramelize. I'm gonna add some seasonings to it. I'm gonna add this, the onion soup mix, guys, and here we go. All right, so let this, let's let this do its business. Now, here is the onion soup mix, okay? Um, I remember my son a couple of months ago, I think it was around Christmas time, went to Sam's Club and got the whole big packet of these because we were doing dips and all that stuff. So I think these are the last two boxes of it, but I have one full packet and I have a half. I guarantee you if I search my, my pantry, there's probably a box or two in there because I doubt we use the whole thing of all those onion scoopers. But this happens to be plenty for what I need. So I had a half in there that we used, and I have a, a whole, so that's plenty, okay? Now, guys, just even on the back of the onion soup mix box. Now, let me tell you something. This is onion soup mix, but I, 95% of the time, I don't buy the Lipton. I buy the store brand, Yes, yeah, so it is basically, um, I got a phone call, so the, the video shut off, but it's all good. Um, it's all basically the same, guys. It really is. I mean, if you want to use Lipton or the same brand, whatever, be, you know, it's up to you. Do whatever you want to do, but really, it's all the same. Um, okay, so this is getting nice and starting to, you know, caramelize a little bit. I found, I remembered I had this whipped butter in my fridge. And it was right where I knew it was, so I don't have to go looking for the block of butter. Because this is, this is, you need a lot of butter for this. It's not a diet meal, guys, but, you know, it is what it is. So see how this is getting, like, it's getting that little brown? That's what I wanted to get before I add any seasoning. I'm not going to add any salt to this yet. And I might not even add, add any salt because it's probably got a lot of sodium in it, which I'm sure it does because it's soup. Right? Let's see about the sodium. I guarantee you the sodium is high. Where is it? Oh yeah. 610 milligrams <laughs> of sodium. So it is high. But again, do not add any salt to it. And you know, you know you're, what you're allowed as far as salt goes. So you, you just eat it the way you have to eat it. You know, so that's it. Because let's face it, guys, like me with the diabetes, there's sugar, there's carbs and everything, so you have to manage your own 
health issues, you have to manage your own diet and, you know, and, and uh, pick and choose and decide what you're going to have as far as sodium and carbs and sugars and all this crap. Swim by. All right, so this is on high. It seems to be slowing down a little bit wide. I don't know. Let's do this thing. It's nice. Very, very nice. So I'm going to go over and get the... Um, I'll actually, I'm going to cut some garlic up now. And I'm going to put garlic in it. Like I said, I'm not going to make the garlic too big, too small. I want it to be fairly chunky. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to... No, I'm not going to use all that. I have to put that on my list. Guys, I love buying it like this. So good. I get it at, I think I had that at Walmart. Yeah, I think it was Walmart or Shop like one of those. I think it was Walmart, but I gotta go, I gotta get it. I'm you know, I have garlic, I have um minced garlic, I'll never run out of garlic. Well, that's not true. I have run out of garlic once in my life. <laughs> but um right now I always have minced garlic in my refrigerator, big jar, and I just replaced it. So I'll always have garlic, but I like to have fresh garlic because some things call for fresh garlic, not for the minced garlic. It's just the way, you know, some recipes. Or it's what you really prefer to, you know. So, like I said, I'm not making these too small, but I'm not going to leave them too big either. So, kind of like a happy medium, guys. I think that's good. And I'm not going to add them yet because, like I said, I don't want them to burn. I'm going to add a little bit more butter into this. Okay. And I noticed that the more you play with them, the more they don't cook fast. So I'm just going to pack them like this, let them cook, and then, like, every couple of minutes, just turn them over. Because the more they just cook by themselves, the more they get nice and caramelized. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so we're going to leave these alone and just check them every couple of minutes, turn them around every couple of minutes, and then, guys, this is going to be delicious to put over anything. I'm telling you, so, so good. It's such, you know, you can make this once a week, make a whole bag of onions, put them in your refrigerator, use them on all different kinds of meals. Make it once and use it the whole week. You know what I mean? the, the um, temperature a little bit because it's starting to get a little bit, not crispy, but a little bit caramelized. So I don't want it to, I just have to watch it. I want to keep it still caramelizing, but I don't want it to burn, you see? That's how I want it to be. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to keep the flame a little bit high because I want it to get done, you know, and start. I don't want these soft, like soft, soft. I want them a nice consist like a, a nice like a little bite to them still so that's the way that they're looking right now so right now I'm going to put in a little onion powder I'm not going to use a lot of other seasonings because that seasoning over there has a lot of stuff in it a little bit of garlic powder no salt like I said a little bit of pepper not a lot because I don't want it spicy I'm going to put in a half of this okay now make sure just go like this, whatever package you have, because a lot of times the um, the soup mix doesn't get like mixed up. Okay, so that's a half. Okay, I'm doing that. I'm gonna put a half. I'm gonna put a little piece of butter in here. More butter. Okay. Now, like I said, you make it as as strong as you want. It. Like, this might be enough for you. This would probably be enough for me. This amount right here. Um, but I'm probably going to add just a little bit. I'll be hitting on the half of this. I'm not going to, I'm going to add a whole one all together. Okay. You definitely want a lot of butter because butter is what keeps it nice and moist. You know what I mean? Whoop! Really typical. That's typical. What I just did. So this is dirty. I'm gonna put. I'm, I'm not gonna put a lot. I'm telling you, because I really, I really like the way it looks right now. 
So just about half. And that's it. The rest here I'm going to save for another recipe, guys. Let me get some more butter in here and let me lower it a little bit now. Now I'm lowering it a little bit because I don't want it to burn. Let me get another spoon. And if you hear that noise, it's because I have the fan on because the onions are taking over the kitchen and the house. Oh, got the garlic. Everybody's saying right now, Linda, the garlic, Linda. Linda, don't forget the garlic. <laughs> Which is perfect because I don't want my garlic to burn anyway. add a little bit of chicken broth in here, a little bit of water. I think honestly that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little water in here because I like it to be a little bit moister. And the water will evaporate, so it's not like the water is going to, um, you know, evaporate the taste. It's not going to evaporate the taste. I'm going to wait till the butter dissolves a little bit more. Mmm, guys, it smells so so, so amazing. Let me get a little bit of water because I think it has enough butter, honestly. I mean, you can only put so much butter in it. You don't want to kill yourself. You know. Let me get a little cup of water. So it's all done, okay? I let the, the, the water, the little water that I put in just evaporated right away. I'm going to put it in this bowl right here. And we're going to eat off of it. Tonight, like I said, or whenever, I'm going to probably make meatloaf or burgers. I haven't decided which one I'm going to make yet. Um, and we're going to have this to put... You could put this in eggs, like a, like a, like a, um, you could put it in an omelet. Add mushrooms, like I said. Add peppers. So good, guys. So yummy in my tummy. Okay. Really, guys, why do I make such a mess with everything that I do? Coop, get away from there. It just, it just, it just happens. It just happens when I make a mess. Here we go, guys. French onion, onions. Like I said, put anything you want in it. Mushroom, peppers, whatever you want, guys. This is a delicious meal. Delicious side. All right, guys, so this is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was such an easy thing to make. Make it, try it out, guys. Think out of the box, it's so great. Really, really budget-friendly, too. Really budget-friendly. I mean, you don't have to buy the Lipton, like I said. You could buy the store brand, it's probably not even a dollar. With inflation, maybe a little bit, maybe a dollar today. But anyway, really, really cheap it goes far, guys. I'm sorry, I just have to watch Cooper because he's in rare form. <laughs> All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching this video. Like I said, please go check out um, Cook Jerry at Cooking with Neighbors and her cousin Mel, which is, um, her channel is my cousin, my cousin Mel, I think it is, or just cousin Mel, I'm so sorry. Check out her channel, she's really good too. 
Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button on the bottom if you like this video. Don't forget to hit the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. Also, um, like, share, and subscribe. Check out Jerry's channel. Also, um, don't forget, guys, don't let anybody ever dull your shine. You stand up with your head held high and know that you're good enough. All right, guys. Bye. See you on the next video.